He has the opportunity to request and see any of their favorite artists, band or entertainer live in concert and appeals to any person passionate about music. That's new online crowdsourcing platform titled Inbound Sound, which was inspired by a campaign in the United States town of Richmond, Virginia, where fans of the American rock band The Foo Fighters crowdsourced the funds needed to get the band to perform in their hometown. The concert has been in planning and development over the past two years and setting up the operational and technical infrastructure is the brainchild of co-founders Richard. Tennyson and Stuart Walsh, who saw a gap to give South Africans a voice about which acts they want to see perform based on demand. Richard joins us in our Seapoint studios, and of course, he's one of the co founders of Inbound Sound. Richard, good morning. Just how difficult, technically difficult, was it to set up something like Inbound Sound in the current music environment in South Africa? Sure. Well, it was tricky to to be totally honest. Um, it's been in it's been in the works now for about for about two years, like you said. Um, we had a few issues to to get things going, um, but luckily enough, you know, we, we managed to to get over those hurdles. Um, you know, it's it's a tricky situation because we you know we want to make sure that uh, promoters and organisers alike know that we're not looking on encroaching on their business in any way. You know, we're really offering a a complimentary service um, to make sure that people who enjoy the same kind of music um, get to connect with one another. And that's really where we come into the whole picture, is to make sure that we connect those people and make sure that they get to see the concerts which they've never had the opportunity, regardless of you know, whether it's a local, uh, local artist or an international artist, um, whether it's mainstream or whether it's niche. Um, we've really opened up the whole industry in, in, in our view. And, and essentially, you know, we're looking for what, what has been called the holy grail, and, and that is pre-sales of the industry. And we, we have had one or two skeptics come back to us, but I would say 99.9% .9 of the feedback has been overwhelmingly positive, which, is, which really has been fantastic. So we, we're looking to revolutionize the industry and really connect the dots. Yes. Okay, I want to I touch on something you mentioned, encroaching on an existing music landscape. We have the big promoters. Yes. We've got the guys that are bringing Absolutely. in artists on a, on, on a yearly basis. How does Inbound Sound, yes. there's a gap in the market that you've identified. And I, yes. as I mentioned in the beginning, yes. we talked about Richmond, Virginia, where the Foo Fighters, there was crowdsourcing happening there. We're not new to the phenomenon of crowdsourcing, but what is that gap that you actually identified and are able to, to monetize? Okay, so, so essentially, let me just touch on the, on the Foo Fighters um, concert itself in, in the States. So essentially, you know, a, a bunch of guys got together in Richmond, Virginia. They had been waiting 16 years to see the Foo Fighters perform. And, and I guess they just really got tired of waiting and waiting. So you know, they saw that the, the crowdfunding model itself was working globally. Uh, we know this even in South Africa. It's, it's starting to trickle in here. It's still, it's still very small here, um, but we're definitely starting to see it trickle in. Um, it's, it's a proven business model globally. So these guys had the thought, you know, well, we haven't seen our favorite band perform in 16 years. So why don't we crowdfund them to get their attention? And, and they were successful. You know, the Foo Fighters went and performed an unscheduled tour, uh, an unscheduled um, uh, performance. So we thought, you know, well, okay, Stuart and I, we are, we are huge uh, Foo Fighters fans. And at that stage, we, um, the Foo Fighters hadn't yet been announced that they were coming to South Africa. Yeah. So we thought, you know, well, why not take that similar model and introduce it to South Africans, except that we wouldn't limit it specifically to one artist. We're going to literally open up a table and say, you know, whatever artist you want, whether it's local, whether it's international, whether it's a mainstream, whether it's a niche, we really felt that we wanted to push local to yeah. start off with. Um, and then we could develop to international artists later Richard? on. We, we, we really felt that there was a huge, there was a huge gap in yeah. the international and local markets in terms of what music people like versus what they were actually quickly. seeing on the ground in terms of concerts. Give it to me so quickly in 20 essentially seconds. what we're doing is we are connecting between yeah. the artists, the promoters, and the people who love the music. Okay, in 20 seconds, how does it work? If I want to see a band, I want to get hold of you guys, how does it work? www.inboundsound.co.za Very straightforward. You sign up for a free account. 
you choose the artist that you want to pledge for. It'll either be on the site already, or you can request your own artist. Then you make your pledge. Remember that your pledge is your ticket. And if anything happens in terms of that concert not going ahead, you get every single cent back. We're not looking to take people's money. It will be a case of refunds go out, no problem. What is the potential market of this, very quickly? How much? What do you foresee, potentially? It is, it is massive. I mean, your, your taste in music and my taste in music is totally different from one person to another. So it extends literally across South Africa in terms of the entire music industry. So it is okay. going to be massive. We have no doubt. Richard, we leave it there. Thank you very much. Richard Tennyson is the founder of Inbound Sound, which is Thank a you. new uh, uh, crowdsourcing uh, platform. Go and find out more about it. You can get your favorite artists, buy your tickets. Uh, it's amazing. Let's go to level.